we have the NBA coming. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. On the wings, it's the dynamite pair of Levine and DeRozan. Williams and Vucevic patrol the inside. And it's Taylor in at the one. And for the Magic, Harrison Wagner out on the wings. Ben Carroll plays the four with Carter Jr. at center. And it's Anthony in at the point guard position. Grant, the all-star break is soon approaching. How important is that break for the players? Oh, the break, it is so crucial. It is needed, no question about it. And any chance to get some rest is a big bonus. Also, of course, refocusing as a team and making a plan for the rest of the year. And the Magic start out with the ball. Pass to Ben Carroll. To the paint. Here's Carter. Rebound by the Bulls. Their last encounter was in Chicago. They had a tough time beyond the arc. A lot of their possessions ended in this three. What was most disturbing to me was they didn't have a backup plan, right? The threes aren't falling. What do you do next? Shooting for Chicago, Patrick Williams. Two shots. And Williams drops them both. Grant, it's fair to say this Magic team is still coming into its own as far as the youth on the roster. Yeah, not a lot of NBA service time up and down the roster, but tons and tons of talent. I mean, they've done very well constructing the roster. Now to develop it, and they'll see the wins pile up. Levine against Harris. Down low. Taylor. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Levine. Well, Levine has really worked on those playmaking abilities. That's a pretty pass right there. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Here's Carter. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. Hard work creating the second chance opportunity. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. They come into this one having outplayed the Grizzlies last time. And we all know that on the road, you don't usually look so comfortable on the offensive end. But that was the story of the game. It came down to execution. No wasted possessions. And that is absolutely essential trying to win on the road. Uh, there's no quit in this guy. He just gives you great effort and he continues to give you great production. You have to love how persistent Levine is inside and during the contact and finding a shot. Here's Taylor. Drains the triple. Taylor's got five now. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. Who poked away. Takes it inside. Ooh, nice Taylor. concentration to hit the double clutch layup. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? For Orlando, they've gone two for five here in the first. Now Anthony. In his last outing, 16 points for him. A shot to stop the run. Drills it from deep. He's got five. You love Cole Anthony's attitude. So confident, so willing to fire on the catch. Here's Taylor. He's guarded by Anthony. The baseline, Jay. Pass to Taylor. Now to Rosen. Taylor passes to Williams. Just five on the clock. Here's Levine for three. On target from range. Levine's got his second bucket on the night. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. And Carroll finds Carter. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen is the call. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Pass to Harris. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Chicago leading. And now the Bulls in transition. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want. And defensively, they are connected and on a string. Carter with it. And Carroll right side. Wagner. 
Wagner outside. 4-3. They get it back. Second chance shot. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Defensive foul. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. So far, they've had a lot of success off fast break plays, and they'll probably continue to push the tempo as much as possible. Yeah, they've also been alert and active on the defensive end, creating turnovers and turning those into points on the offensive end. Harris misses. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Here's Taylor. That drops, Jordan and it comes Taylor. off an assist from Levine. Assist goes to Levine's got his fourth Levine. assist in this one. And so Anthony will bring it up for the Magic. It's a 13-point game. A tough loss coming against San Antonio in their last game. Honestly, they were just outclassed in that one. We thought it would be a tough night for them, <laughs> and it was. Sometimes it's about the talent disparity, and it would have taken a massive effort for them to even be competitive, and it was nothing close to that. Orlando calls timeout. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. Let's take a second to check in on the race for Rookie of the Year and see how the rankings are shaping up for this year's class of new NBA talents. Right in the thick of this season, he is the guy when it comes to Rookie of the Year. What a year he's having. And this is the type of player you have to be excited about. There's no question he should be at the top of the Rookie of the Year rankings. And I'll tell you, it's one of the brightest starts to a career that I can remember. He's certainly well positioned for that award. Now here's Anthony. Five points in the game. And another miss by Orlando. And for the Berlin native, Franz Wagner. His NBA career is off to a terrific start. Yeah, at 6'10", he's extremely versatile. He's already a talented scorer at all three levels. Plus, he's able to put the ball on the floor and create for his teammates. Pass to Ben Carroll. And stolen by Williams. And another fast break for the Bulls. Chicago running. And the basket by Taylor. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. And Carroll with it. He's picked up by Levine. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. To the inside. Bucket. Jordan He's now 9 Taylor. for 11 after that one. Assisted. They've sped up the Zach pace, Levine. and they're really hustling on the break. Orlando's gone 1 for 3 from beyond the arc. Time, Time called here. Magic. The Magic decide to talk it over. And no doubt, Coach wants them to improve their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a Wait recipe second. for Get disaster. For a free T-shirt. He's checked in for Anthony. It's February. Let's see how things are shaping up in the East. You look at the Bulls. They are holding down the number one spot in the conference. Not a bad position to be in. And, of course, the Magic. They need to work much harder to climb out of the bottom of the conference. And looking at Orlando, they hyped it up at the start of the year but haven't really followed through. They're so disappointed. They're really, Taylor. so are their fans. Ball talk, no walk. Simple as that. They just don't match up with the better teams in the NBA. We look at all the turnovers. Boy, what a way to drive your coach crazy. Yeah, your game plan means nothing if your players can't execute. Now here's Fultz. Really had his troubles in that loss to San Antonio. Just couldn't find his rhythm. Well, this is just excellent work in the mid-range. And you see how comfortable Paolo is taking those opportunities. Taylor passes to Levine. Here's Taylor. Shoots over Fultz. Pass to Taylor. Now to Rosen. To the middle. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Taylor's got 24. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Here's Harris. Count it. General, how Harris. about the body control by Gary Harris? Nice finish through contact. 
Pass to Taylor. And he goes in for the dunk. Come on now, guys. That's flat out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Yet another steal from him. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. You gotta love it. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Harris. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot him there. And what you like about Gary Harris, you can depend on him to make good decisions and always bring that energy. Yeah, no doubt, B.A. I mean, he's all about the team. Willing to do whatever they ask of him. Can't have enough guys like that on your roster. And the Bulls making a change here. Drummond's checked in for Nikola Vucevic. Craig comes in for Williams. Caruso, he's checked in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's White in for Zach Levine. Earning his money on the interior tonight. That's a nice move. Here's Black. And a miss layup. Chicago has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. And I think obviously we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass so important. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And here now are the teams that have made a difference with their defense in the past 10 games. Number one, the Bulls. Well, over these last few games, they've been putting excellent pressure on the ball handlers and then turning those forced errors into easy points. Here's Taylor. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's on Markel Fultz. And he makes a first. Timeout called. The Bulls starting. Taylor taking two shots. Chicago timeout. All right, Magic fans, here we are. The T-shirt makes some noise. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Here's Fultz. No made baskets yet. Knocks it loose. Now here's White. Pass to Taylor. Craig on the wing. Isaac covering. Here's Taylor. It's hauled in by Isaac. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. And a pass break now for the Bulls. Taylor's shot is off. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. To the left side wing. Black. Chicago grabs the miss. Let's it go from deep. That's already this guy's second foul now. He's either going to have to sit or play a bit more. Substitution on the board. Wagner and Bancaro at the three and the four. Then it's Wendell Carter. Then it's Cole Anthony. And it's Black in at the two. That's who's out there for Orlando. Back to Carter. The three is up. Hits the trifecta. Carter's got seven. Have to give Wendell Carter Jr. tremendous credit for developing that range shooting. Nicely done. Hi, guys. Well, the natural in their last time out against the Grizzlies delivered quite a performance. He had an unbelievable amount of points, and he pulled in a season-high number of rebounds. A virtuoso performance that will be remembered for a very long time. Brian? 
And the only question now, how does he follow up that performance? Yeah, each night comes with different challenges, and I'm sure their opponent has seen the film. What you love about this guy, though, is even when the defense adjusts to what he's doing, he'll make an adjustment right back. He is always ready with a counter. Here's Anthony. Off the mark with a little step back. Jay, Chicago has gone 6 of 8 from the three-point line in this matchup. Levine against Carter. Levine, that one's good. Levine. Levine's got nine points in the quarter. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Inside. And the Zach dunk Levine. by Levine. We're just going to call him Mr. Taylor. Zach Levine. Another highlight reel finish. Here's Black. Pass to Carter. To the inside. Here's Van Caro. Some solid defense from Williams. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. And the basket Taylor. by Taylor. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. Here's Black. To stop the run. Ooh, Williams with the block. All by himself. Making plays at both ends of the floor, and it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Anthony with it. He's got seven. And Vucevic with the block. They recover it. Wagner, the pass to Black. Shot clock at six. Goes back up. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got five rebounds in the game. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. And Caro outside. Pass to Black. Now here's Wagner. Over to Rosen. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. To the middle. Here's Taylor. That drops. Taylor. And it comes off an assist from Levine. Levine's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And here's Wagner. He'll bring it up for the Magic. Carter with it. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Taking a look at some numbers here for him. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Boy, now you have to think about pulling it. Would be the Bulls making a switch here. The Sumu's checked in. Here's Black. Back to Ben Carroll. Pass to Anthony to win the cold spell. And Anthony slams it in. This guy is so creative with such an excellent handle. Nice drive by Cole Anthony. Here's Taylor. And he drops it in from the low post. Taylor's got 47 points. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Woo, just selling the defense on the pump fake. Chicago has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. He was grabbing the rim to extend the hang time. Hey, maybe making sure the landing was kinder than the takeoff. And here's Anthony. Nine points in the game. His fourth oh, foul wow. already, and we're not Taylor. even at halftime. Four He'll likely limit foul. his minutes the rest of the Second way. Timeout called. The Bulls. And we heard Chicago. some coaches saying the league punishes retaliation. And that might even encourage Man, players to instigate. You, Grant, you think he's got a point? You know, B.A., I think he does. I mean, if guys are creating a dust-up to try to get opposing star players coming out, your the officials you cannot be. afford that. Wagner on the wing. On, 
And so far in this one, two for four. That's a big time finish by Franz Wagner. Might be young, but he is undeterred. Chicago's gone six of nine from three point range. Here's Taylor. He's guarded by Anthony. Good! That's another bucket! Three. That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. Hook loose. And they're on the run. Here's Taylor. Anthony grabs the board. Ball stop. Taylor. The Magic making a switch here. Harris has checked in. Orlando's gone one for three from downtown here in the second. To the paint. Here's Carter. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got six rebounds here tonight. And the basket by Taylor. Taylor's got 55. Well, you can see why his teammates love playing with him. Vucevic willing to find the open guy. Now Wagner. He's coming off a 25-point game against San Antonio. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. And they're ahead right now because they're working so hard on the glass. And bottom line, more boards means more possessions. Orlando That's Bob. how you build a lead. And if you're looking for Second proficiency in scoring Bob. over the last month, look Bob. no further than this group. Zach Levine is second. The fourth spot held by DeMar DeRozan. Each of these two have been awesome offensively during the last month. Both great options from the floor. And the Magic making a change here. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And the Magic shooting only 33%. Not exactly consistent offense. Outside Fultz. Will it go? And the layup is up and in. Fultz has got his first basket. One of the keys as a perimeter player is always stay focused through contact. Markel Fultz makes that shot despite the physical contact. Williams' shot is good. How about the concentration on that assist? Changed his mind mid-shot and put the pass right on the money. Knocked away. And they're pushing it up. Here's Taylor. And the Bulls get it back. And the shot goes in. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. And a big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. Fultz passes to Isaac. Over Williams. Isaac's shot is off. And so it's Levine with it. He brings it up for Chicago. Down low. Here's Van Caro. That one falls. Nice assist by Fultz. Van Caro's got six. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. You know, when Isaac tore his ACL in 2019, it was a long road back for him, Doris. You know what, B.A., it's hard for me to imagine a young player experiencing more tough injuries than John What I appreciate is his willingness to fight through whatever has been put before him. There's a real mental toughness and a real grit that this guy possesses and obviously a love for the game. And so it's Chicago, and they're up an insane amount going into the break. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with a fit. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals. So both teams changing it up here. On the court for Chicago, they've got DeMar DeRozan. He's out there with Nikola Vucevic. Zach Levine out there with Desumu. And it's Taylor in at the one. Fultz. And the step back jumper is good. Give him eight points now. Well, make no mistake, Markel Fultz, because of his athletic burst, can score on the interior. That's nicely done. Pass to DeRozan. Here's Desumu. Inside. 
Here's Taylor. Hits the layup after the Taylor. sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Taylor's got 59 points. Now here's Fultz, nabbing another steal. He has been an absolute thief on the floor. Another steal. And by the Taylor. way, that swipe puts him tied for second all time for most steals in a game. What a defensive effort for him. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Bulls. Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers, and then scoring on the other end. I think one of the things that also strikes me is their activity forcing turnovers coming up with steals. It has really shaped the tenor of this game. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, before his one season at Duke, Paolo Bencaro tattooed the message, no pressure, on his left forearm. He said, quote, there's going to be noise, but at the end of the day, you got to go out there and hoop against five other guys. So it's like, quote, what really is it? It's just basketball. That's a good point. No big deal. Thanks, Alec. Well, this has to contribute to Markel Fultz's confidence, showing right there he can get through the defense. To the inside. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Getting up and then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Pass to Bataze. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. And he drives in. And the Taylor. basket by Taylor. They have no answer defensively inside. The Magic have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Left side, Fultz. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Levine's got his fourth rebound in this one. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. The Setting ball each ball other ball. up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. Wagner against Levine. And Wagner gets it to go. Wagner. Wagner's got four points this quarter. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Taylor. That drops. Jordan and it comes Taylor. off an assist from Levine. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. A big group substitution here for Chicago. Drummond's checked in for Nikola Vucevic. Craig comes in for DeRozan. Caruso, he's checked in for Zach Levine. And it's White in for Nesumu. He was way ahead of the pack. No one around to contest. He can do anything he wants in that situation. Big time play right there, showing the activity and ability to impact this game. Black passes to Wagner. Pass to Black. Bulls. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Chicago Bulls. On Monday, they'll be playing against Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. And then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. They're looking at a lot of road contests in the next stretch, but this squad has been very good away from home, and I think that continues. Ingles, he's checked in for Orlando. Stolen by Ingles. That shot off. That's a rarity for him, especially against the soft defense. Craig passes to Caruso. Here's Taylor. And the Taylor. Bulls tack on two more. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Here's Fultz. Another shot. Good work defensively by White. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Taylor's shot is off. And it was a great chance to finish on the break. And he flubs it. It was right there for him. He'd love to have that one back. That was embarrassing. Pass to Bataze. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Outside, Ingles. Six on the shot clock. Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Caruso. And here they come. Here's Taylor. 
And good! There's another! 71 points and no end in sight. He's in the zone. The defense looks helpless. Knocked loose. Isaac, the pass to Fultz. A minute 31 left in the third. Oh, a rip-rattling two-handed jam! Well, Markel Fultz doesn't stand and settle for a jumper. He attacks the rim with that athleticism. Nicely done. The offensive rebound. Drummond passes to Taylor. Shoots over Fultz. They shoot again! And the layup is good by Drummond. Drummond's got his first points of the night. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. He swipes the ball away again. Fantastic swipe. And he now stands by himself for second most steals in a game. He is so fast. He gets his hands on the ball in the blink of an eye, and the steal numbers are unreal. He sneaks in off the baseline, then elevates for a sick reverse jam. Man, that was so pretty. Athletic basketball with a little showmanship mixed in. Outside Fultz to the paint. Mataze can't hit. Smooth sailing for Chicago. To the middle. Here's Taylor. Another bucket! Wow! Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. The BA, it feels like he can't miss. Woo! His energy is unmatched. The finishing transition, nice and easy. Craig finds Caruso. Here's Taylor. A deep three. Drummond passes to Taylor. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And the Magic pushing it up now. Oh, a huge slam! An exclamation point on that break. Well, Markel Folds trying to be a better floor general on time and on target. Do that consistently. And so it's Chicago, showing no mercy and just piling it on, looking dominant and focused right now. Their defense has forced them. 124. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA, and you see it right there on display. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Goga Bataze is out there with Chumo Kiki. Then it's Joe Ingles, and it's Howard in at the shooting guard. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Taylor passes to Drummond, and the jam by Drummond. Uh, it's just too easy for Andre Drummond. Gets the inside position and leaves no doubt. Orlando has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. And in deciding against lowering the minimum age of the NBA draft. So it's the Bulls winning this one easily. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. A shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long. Congratulations on the win. But how do you make it look so easy at such a young age? Thanks, Nate. I mean, it's, it's definitely not easy. You know, I, I try to bring that intensity and that aggression on a nightly basis. You know, I'm not always going to shoot like I did tonight, but I can definitely bring that energy and let the chips fall where they may. Wait, wait, wait. But hold <laughs> up. You was on fire tonight, dropping threes from the suburbs. Come on now. Give us a little more than this, oh, shucks, routine, man. <laughs> Nate, man, you're killing me, man. Um, you know, I appreciate it. You know, I try to get in the gym two, you know, three times a day to get some shots up. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been working on my outside shot nonstop on my form and, you know, my fundamentals overall. You know, things are just, I guess, starting to click, you know? Mm-hmm. It, it sure looks like it. Congrats, man. Thanks, man.
Great choice. That's a difference maker. There you go. I know that'll help. Thank you. 